part two of my beverage series. A couple of things I've learned about the traveling wave antenna over the several years I've been playing with these things since I've had room to do these out in the woods. First, let's talk about some of the misconceptions concerning beverages, especially with regard to length. A lot of people believe that a beverage antenna has to be a thousand feet long to be effective. When in reality, short beverages perform exceptionally well. Perhaps the shortage beverage above ground should be about 300 feet. That'll give you good coverage of 20, 40, and 80 meters, and actually surprisingly good results on 160 meters. On 160 meters, if that's your band of choice, the longer beverages do tend to perform better there. Beverages from 600 to 1,000 feet can perform remarkably better than a three or 400 foot beverage. But if you wish to take advantage of the traveling wave, uh, traveling wave uh, benefit on higher frequencies, 40, 80, even 20 meters, 300 to 500 foot beverages work just fine. Here in the beverage field of NJ2US, these are where the east, west, and north, south beverages intersect. Again, they cross at right angles to each other. There's about 12 inches of space in between the two. That's not too critical, but perhaps it's a good idea that they don't touch where they cross. And again, I'm using a combination of trees with fence insulators and strategically placed Dacron polyester cord to elevate the beverage element anywhere from five to seven feet above the ground. Again, another thing that's a little bit misunderstood. Beverages perform the best and have the best impedance characteristics when they're mounted less than 10 feet. They actually work quite well very near to the ground or even laying on the ground as in the beverage on ground concept for beverage antennas. But most people would agree that five to eight feet is probably optimum but that's for more mechanical reasons than it is electrical or performance. At five and six and seven feet, you're not likely to catch any wild animals that might be passing underneath the wire or humans for that matter. Also out here in the field is a Array Solutions Shared Apex Loop, a SAL. This particular model is the SAL 20. It requires about 30 feet on a side. It's um, a series of four triangular shaped loops using the aluminum mast as the common center feed and support. And this works quite well. Again, it's only a few feet off the ground and outperforms dipoles and loop antennas at 50 to 70 feet. Really remarkable performance from these antennas. A little pricing pricey but if you have the space they are definitely worthwhile as we notice here the distance between the sow and the beverages is not very far it's hard for me to determine if there's any interaction between them i don't think i would know the difference because these antennas perform quite well for one big reason these antennas close to the ground are very low noise antennas and that is the secret to good reception has nothing to do with gain. In fact, beverage antennas as a whole have negative gain. But in terms of noise floors, it's not unusual to go to the receiver and see a noise floor of below S1. Because what you're really looking for is the signal to noise ratio. An S9 noise floor with a 10 over signal, which is pretty strong, is pretty hard to listen to. But an S5 signal over an S one noise floor is very pleasing. That represents good signal to noise ratio. We're approaching the feed point of my east-west beverage. And I'll give you an example of how the BevFlex is a very unique design made out of RG6 coax. I mentioned in a previous video that you can feed these beverages anywhere along the length. And in fact, on the east-west beverage, I'm feeding it at the east end. And that's simply the same feed point unit 
with the long side, almost 550 feet going west through the woods. And then on the east side, a short length of RG6 coax, maybe about 10 feet, slopes down to the terminating unit. And so the eastern edge of this is the equivalent of feeding a beverage from an end, which is really very convenient. Thanks for watching and see you on the air. NJ2US.